This is a Todd Visible Adding Machine from the 1920s. It has room for nine digits on spring-loaded wheels. It's got two separate display registers and lots of unlabeled buttons. Got these two over here, these ones up here, and these other ones down here. Painted a dark red color with some classy detail lines. It has a hinged lid with a nice handle like an old-fashioned lunchbox so you can carry it around with you. But you probably won't want to since it weighs about 7 pounds, which is heavier than it looks. So try not to drop this thing. The machine will probably be fine, but it'll hurt whatever it lands on. This machine was made by the Todd Protectograph Company in Rochester, New York. The Todd Company was founded by George Todd, who invented a device called the Protectograph. It was a machine for officially stamping numbers on the paychecks. The Protectograph was really successful and turned George Todd into a bit of a local celebrity. He ended up giving lots of money to the University of Rochester, which named some buildings after him. Todd's company eventually got bought out by Burroughs in the 1950s, which was buying up a lot of the old adding machine companies at the time. Anyway, sometime in the 20s, the Todd company was doing so well selling the Protectograph, they decided to sell an adding machine too. Todd bought the rights to something called the Amco adding machine, and then rebranded it as the Star Adding Machine. In 1926, they added a few features, and this became the Todd Visible Adding Machine. The Todd machine looks pretty different, but the basic mechanism is just another Pascaline-type spinning wheels design. Each digit corresponds to a spinning wheel, and one full revolution of each wheel will carry once into the next digit. The difference with the Todd machine is just the arrangement of the wheels. On the Pascaline type, all the wheels sit in a single plane facing the user, while in the Todd machine, the wheels all sit perpendicular to the user along a single axis. When you want to add some numbers, you just dial them in on the wheels by sticking your finger in and pressing down. The number you dial gets added into both registers at the same time. This lever on the side will reset the wheels and clear the lower register, but not the upper one. So let's try 538 plus 975. I do the 538, then clear the lower dials, and then the 975. This other button clears both dials, which is what you do when you're ready to start a new computation. When you're just adding numbers one after another, this is pretty fast. Faster than a crank-driven printing machine, but slower than a key-driven mechanism. You can pull down several digits at once to speed things up, but carries on adjacent digits won't work right. Like if I do 99 plus 99, the mechanism isn't good enough to carry both digits at once properly, so I get 188 instead of 198. The two separate registers is a nice touch. This is probably why they called it the visible adding machine. The lower register shows you the number you just added, which is good for catching mistakes. The earlier version, called the star, only had one display. We got these round red buttons above each digit in the upper register. You can use these to clear an individual digit by holding the button down and then pushing the lower clearing button. These little tabs at the bottom of the wheels are a bit mysterious. They got springs in them so they pop back up, but they don't seem to do anything when you push them down. Actually, each of these tabs will disengage the carry mechanism for that digit. This makes it a little easier to fix mistakes if you notice any. Like if I did some adding and messed something up, let's say it says this, but I know that 8 really should be a 5. I can turn the 8 into a 5 by adding 7, but this will carry a 1 and mess up the next digit. So you hold the little tab, that lets you adjust a single digit without carrying, without messing up the other ones. This thing has a solid hinged cover that can lock close with a key. This is an uncommon feature on machines like this, but it's not really a surprise from Todd. The protectograph had a lock on it so that people couldn't write their own checks with the company's machine. That was kind of the whole point of it. I'm not sure why anyone would want to lock down one of these. The mechanical action of this thing is pretty loud. You get a lot of crunching when you're turning the wheels and a very satisfying springy clank when you clear the top register. The springs sound big and strong. I think it's just the resonation from the inside of the metal case. 
Actually, the springs aren't all good. My upper register is pretty sticky even after I sprayed it down with some oil. This is actually the first antique adding machine I ever owned, and I got it as a present for my mom who bought it at an antique shop in Pennsylvania. Thanks, Mom. Anyway, the visible adding machine's got a lot going for it in a fairly small package. Just don't drop it on your toe. It'll look like some sharp corners. I'm here to start some static. Got money.